open living room blinds. Okay. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today I will be making my window blind smarter. And I'm not going to replace my blinds, but I'll just be retrofitting it with SwitchBot's blind tilt. And one cool thing about this, it is easy to install and you don't have to mess with your existing blinds. The only thing though is that it will only work with horizontal blinds that have the twist wand or rod control to open and close the blinds. Let's do a quick unboxing, install, and setup, and see how easy and quick we can make our window blind smarter. Let's check out some features. This is the SwitchBot Blind Tilt. And to get the full feature set and control your blinds remotely, you will need the SwitchBot Hub, which I already have. So with the Hub, you can control the blinds via Amazon Alexa, If This Then That, Google Assistant, Smart Things, Siri shortcuts and line clover and I don't know what line clover is. This is simple to set up, install and calibrate. It comes with a solar panel so no need to change or charge the batteries. It has sensors which you can set to adjust the blinds depending on the brightness of the sun outside. So you can set it so that if the sun is too bright, it will close or tilt the blinds to block out the sun and help with energy conservation in your home. The requirements for your blinds to be compatible is that it needs to be horizontal blinds less than 3 meters long. And the diameter of the twist wand is from a quarter of an inch up to half an inch. This is not compatible with blinds that have a ball chain or a cord that controls the tilting of the blinds. Inside the box, we have the main unit itself, and it has a USB-C port to charge the built-in 2000 mAh battery or to hook it up to the solar panel. And this is the area where we are going to connect to the blinds one control, which to open, just slide this up and you will see the gear inside which will turn the rod. On the bottom here, there is a reset or setup button. That's it, a pretty simple device and build quality feels pretty good. What else is inside the box? We have a USB-C cable to charge the unit if needed. We have the user manual. We have this plastic measurement and alignment guide. And we have the bracket to hang the main blind tilt control unit to the blind's headrail. And we have a small solar panel to be mounted on the window. And we have the USB-C plug on the other end that we will connect to the main unit. And we have some mounting screws and plastic anchors if needed. We have adapters here, which we will choose the size depending on the diameter of your control one. And we have the gear coupler. And lastly, we have the push pin. Time to install this. First, I'll remove the top valance part of the blind, which is held on by plastic clips. Next, I'll put the measuring tool around my blind rod and see which adapter I'm going to use. I'm on the outer edge of the large size, so I'll be using the large adapter. And now I'll remove the paper backing to expose the sticky part of the measuring tool, and now it becomes an alignment sticker. And I just have to stick it on the headrail of the blind beside the wand. And the end part is where we are going to align the top part of the adapter. In my case, I'll be using the large adapter. And just remove the backing of the double-sided mounting tape and wrap the adapter around the wand and making sure it is lined up on the end of the alignment sticker. Next, we are going to install the gear coupler. Just flip the metal latch up to open it up and put it around the adapter and the wand. And close the coupler and flip the latch back in to lock it in place. Next, we are going to hook up the solar panel to the blind tilt control. Just plug in the USB-C cable and turn the sleeve clockwise to secure it. Next, open up the blind tilt control, align the gears to the gears of the gear coupler, and close it and it should snap and lock in place. Then we'll remove the backing of the holder bracket and align and stick it to the blind headrail to the left of the wand. Just align it so that the motor unit and the wand is straight and perpendicular to the ground. Then you can push in the solar panel cable to secure the whole blind tilt unit to your blind's headrail. Next, we are going to install the solar panel. Just remove the backing of the mounting tape and stick the panel to the glass window. Make sure you have enough slack on the cable. Time to set this up in the app. Open up the SwitchBot app. And remember, I already have the mini hub installed because I have other SwitchBot devices. Click the plus sign on the upper right corner. Choose blind tilt. Press and hold the setup button at the bottom of the device for two seconds until the status light flashes white. Click next. Name your device. And if you have associated your SwitchBot account to Amazon Alexa, it will be automatically set up to work with Alexa. We already installed it, so we will skip the install guide. 
and time to calibrate. First, I need to manually close the blind with the slats pointing down. Next, I'll open up the blinds. Then manually close it, and this time with the slats pointing up. Then open it again, and the calibration is finished. So let's test it. Close with the slats pointing up. It works. Now fully open. Great. Now close with the slats pointing down. Works pretty good. Then we can put back in the valance to cover the headrail. And that's it. Let's check out some settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will see your blind controls and its current status. And then here, you can actually able to open or close the blinds without going into the specific blind control interface. Clicking on the side here, you will get to the main control page. On top, you will see the battery level and it is connected to the hub and also via Bluetooth if you are close by and the status of the blind. On the bottom here, you have the close down, fully open and close up controls. Or you can use this vertical slider to open or close the blinds using percentage increments. You can also add customized actions like partially opening or close. You also have the light sensing. As you can see, you have some data graph here. The solar panel has a light sensor on it and it's measuring the brightness outside. And you can use this to set up automations based on the brightness. Like for example, you can set it up if the brightness outside is higher than level three, then the blinds will partially close down 50%. You can play around with this depending on how bright the sun shines in the window. There is also a delay option and what I'll be using more and I already have set up is scheduling. As you can see, I have set it up to open the blinds at 8 a.m. and close down at 6.30 p.m. Clicking the gear icon, you will get to the settings. In here with the customized actions, you can choose which settings you want to show in the home page and also in the main control page. Then we have motion mode. Performance mode is faster but a little bit louder, and silent is a bit slower. Also to show you if you have the hub set up and the cloud services on, you can use Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, if this then that, and you can also add Siri shortcuts. Hey Siri, close living room blinds. Okay done, I'll close the Overall, this is a pretty nifty smart device and now you can easily retrofit your compatible blinds with SwitchBot's blind tilt, which is also pretty affordable compared to others in the market today. I like that it is solar powered to keep the batteries charged and also the light sensing feature is pretty cool so that you can set it for the blinds to automatically adjust depending on the light outside. So when your sun hits your window during sunrise or sunset, you can set it to automatically partially close the blinds. And another cool thing about SwitchBot is aside from being able to control your blinds using the app and with a hub, control it using your voice and integrate with third-party services, you can also use other SwitchBot devices like their Bluetooth remote control to be able to control your blinds. SwitchBot currently has this in Kickstarter, which I'm not sure why, because this is already a made and functioning product. And it works pretty good. But I will link it down below so they can check it out and order you some. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.